I'm Jeremy for The Armory Life. If I told you, you could have a flatter shooting pistol with less felt recoil and no drawbacks, would that be interesting to you? That's exactly what Springfield Armory just did with the new Echelon Comp chambered in 9mm. Following in the footsteps from the Hellcat Comp and the Prodigy Comp, we now have the exact same technology in the Echelon family line of pistols. Personally, I'm super thrilled at the Echelon Comp as the Echelon has been the main pistol that I've been training with for the past year. And now, it has just gotten even better. The integral compensator on the Echelon Comp is born from decades of experience from the Springfield Armory engineers to produce the greatest reduction in muzzle rise while still retaining all the reliability you've come to expect from the Echelon. If you're unfamiliar with compensators, they consist of specifically sized holes or a single hole that vents gas upwards, which in turn pushes the muzzle downwards once the round leaves the barrel. This reduces muzzle rise, felt recoil, and puts you back on target quicker for fast follow-up shots. On the Echelon Comp, the compensator is built into the slide and barrel. The barrel and slide are milled perfectly with a matching opening to vent gas upwards and slightly out of the side of the slide. You'll notice the port contours from the top of the slide and slightly down the sides. This ensures the greatest volume of gas escaping the port is directed upwards and out to keep you on target with precision and ease. I rigged my Echelon Comp out with a Surefire X300 Turbo Weapon Light and a Vortex Defender ST Red Dot Optic. Since this is a full-size duty style pistol, I utilized my Ronin Tactics Senshi Belt with Safari Land 6360 Level 3 Holster. This gun belt is super comfortable and has all the necessary pouches to hold extra mags, a flashlight, and a med kit. The Safari Land holster is robust, looks great, and has all the protection you would want or need on a duty belt. To be honest, this is my favorite way to train at the range. The ease of drawing, reloading, and carrying everything I need feels great and makes the process of testing and training much more fun for me. It's kind of akin to driving a sports car, where you can push performance, speed, and handling. It also requires more of you, perfecting the draw, presentation, reloads, and accuracy. All fitting for the Echelon Comp, which is made for performance. Beyond basic shooting fundamentals, accuracy, and handling, I wanted to test different types and weights of ammunition. When I shoot a compensated firearm, my first thoughts always go to reliability and ammo preferences. I set out to test 115 grain, 124 grain, and 147 grain ball ammo, as well as some defensive ammunition in the same weights. It's important to test for yourself the primary ammo and situations you may be using your firearms in to know their strengths or limitations. I fully expect the Echelon Comp to run through all this ammo, but there's nothing quite like first-hand experience. There's also the fact that compensators need a specific amount of gas to be most effective. The pistol should feel different through each of these ammo types, and I intend to find the ammo type that feels the best with the compensator to give me the maximum reduction in muzzle rise. I started with 147 grain ball ammo, as generally, without a comp, these are the softest shooting rounds since they are heavier and a little bit slower. The first shots were actually quite surprising to me. I've been impressed with the Echelon and how it shoots, but the comp adds just that little extra reduction in muzzle rise and increased handling. The pistol is ready to be shot and shot fast, returning to zero quickly and keeping your sights on target with ease. Shooting hammer pairs on steel at 30 yards was near effortless. The trigger in the Echelon feels fantastic, and with the comp, I was able to manipulate the trigger faster than normal with greater accuracy than my non-comped Echelon. I then moved on to the 124 grain and 115 grain ball ammo variants, and to my surprise, they all felt about the same in the muzzle rise and felt recoil categories. They also ran without issue, feeding and extracting. Moving into the defensive ammo was much more of the same. A nice subtle reduction in muzzle rise and felt recoil, while operating with 100% reliability and efficiency. Now being critical, I would say that the Hornady Critical Defense 115 grain ammo had the greatest reduction in muzzle rise. Now this makes sense as the lighter bullet travels faster and has more gas moving down the barrel, ultimately out of the comp making it the most effective. Now once I got the hang of the pistol and how it was feeling, I worked more on drawing and firing quickly once I had a solid sight picture. Then of course, into one of my favorite drills, executing quick reloads from the battle belt. When running the belt, I like to have the larger 20 round capacity magazines in the pistol pouches as they're easy to grab. It also allows me to stay on the line longer since I can have a total of 60 rounds on me 
before I need to load mags again. I've got to say, this was one of my more enjoyable and memorable range sessions that I've had in a while shooting pistols. The Echelon Comp is the same pistol I've grown so fond of, but made even better with the Integral Compensator. If I could quantify it into words, I would say the Echelon Comp just allows me to shoot quicker with more accuracy and confidence. If you get the chance to check out the Echelon family of pistols, definitely grab the Comp version and give it a test drive. I think you'll be surprised at the newfound speed and accuracy that you're able to accomplish with this pistol. As always, tools do not necessarily make you a better shooter. Time and training will always be the great equalizer. So get out there and brush up on those skills.